Well, race number five on the program is the George Grilla Sitch Handicap, over 2,000 metres. The horses we'll take a look at here include uh, McAlder Clough, Snooper Clyde and Winfield's Farm, all out of the same race. Desert Ace from his barnstorming win at the midweeks. Toy of War, who was unlucky, went second to Timeless Star. And uh, we'll also catch up with Lindsay Smith. Uh, other horses in the race, Contentious Smith, two runs at the 14 up the 2,000, should be getting close. Dana Collada, he's done plenty of miles this campaign, could be showing wear and tear. Ross Sands really been struggling. I don't know what's happened there. Uh, Abel King, prefer to see. Down to Exhilarating, was good in the 2J Cup behind Blues Guitar. Not out of it. Hook's Reason, not one of mine. Jeremy's Pride Scratch from the Wednesday meeting for this. Uh, Seymour Park meets horses badly at the weights in this, including Jeremy's Pride. Uh, will be on pace. And uh, the other horses will be taking a look at replay. Let's kick it off and roll tape with uh, McKeldico beating Winfield's Farm. And watch for Snooper Clyde out wide on the track. Straightened up in front, went past life, beckons Winfield's Farm, those got him, here's McKeldico, followed by Luskin Dancer, Winfield's Farm though, down to the 200, the leader, McKeldico trying to make a race of it, Jemenka's got up near the inside, Winfield's Farm though, holding McKeldico with about 50 to go, Jemenka's on the fence, it's Winfield's Farm, McKeldico's having another dip at him on the line, they split it, McKeldico, Winfield's Farm, McKeldico, I think I know, McKeldico just over Winfield's Farm in a tight one, third Jemenka, well, he was too good on the day, Mikhail Deco. He beat Winfield's Farm, followed him every step of the way, had the suck run. I th the Winfield's Farm meets uh, Mikhail Deco better on the weights this week. He was actually galloped on in running, mm -hmm. and I think he can turn the tables this week. The other one down the outside, uh, Snooper Clyde, took a long time to come at him. He's run that similar race twice now. He could be looking for a bit further. That 2,000 metre run suggests he's crying out for 24 and further. <coughs> so look for a run from him, but I think Winfield's Farm has their measure. OK, and also can go back to a, a lot easier class, Snooper Clyde. Well, Desert Ace is trained by Rose Churchill and put in a wonderful run here at the Belmont Midweeks. Geo winding up next is Marine Drive under the stick coming around the corner from Desert Ace and then James the Jet and Trapezinov. Revy J headed Commandeer at the 350. They're a length and a half on Aerial Muster. Hooks Rees and Marine Drive and here comes Desert Ace down the middle of the course with a well-timed run. It's Revy J tackled by Marine Drive and on the outside Desert Ace. Desert Ace sweeps to the lead from Marine Drive trying to go with him but Desert Ace wins it. It's Desert Ace in the Sadiq colours wins it by three quarters marine drive Revy J third fourth aerial muster won well on that occasion Desert Ace following a good second at Belmont his breeding suggests he's a good middle distance horse just the way he's racing I'd prefer to see him at a mile this week I think these other horses might just be a bit more seasoned for him over the distance well I think he's screaming out for ground and uh, he'll be charging home I just think Patna Racing's probably going to get him in the better class but he's one to follow I think mm. he's a horse of the future well, this mare certainly is Toya War. She steamed home at an unsuitable distance behind Timeless Star. She's back second last, and she's travelling up in between horses. Dante's dash on her outside. They turn the corner. Silver Seam straightens for home. A length and a half aces for Ramba. A similar margin. Timeless Star. Two fools letting down. Toy of War back in the field is warming up. Then Dante's dash, but Timeless Star down to the 150 sweeps to the lead. Timeless Star breaks away from aces for Ramba. Toy of War. Two fools run on. Timeless Star's got a break though, and Timeless Star gets home. Wins at three quarters toy of war close third overlock dive through on the inside of two fools Dante's dash close up same situation there Marty toy of war off that run suggests she's crying out for ground crying out for a mile or further well Lindsay Smith's chucked in at 2,000 metres but no one can do it if anyone can do it it's Lindsay Smith let's see what he had to say toy of war's come back to racing in fine form yeah nice horse good mare uh, she was uh, a bit unlucky the other day I dropped her back in the 1400 where she should have been in the mile uh, just she found winding, trying to you know, run out of ground, trying to pick the winner up, and uh, I expect to, to jump to the 2,000. I expect it to be very hard to beat. Lindsay gives the impression she's got Perth Cap written all over her. You think so? I, I'm not, you know, quietly sure whether she will stay that far, but uh, you think mile and a half for sure. Mm, good to see Bizarro in good form there. Well, let's have a look at the uh, tips for race number five, and uh, here I'm going with Toy of War. Big fan of hers and. 2,000 metres will be right up our alley to beat 13. Winfield's Farm, he'll be hard to toss, but Harvey's elected to go with the mare in preference to Winfield's Farm. 
that's a great training battle too, isn't it, between Smith and Maynard, two of the best. Nine, Jeremy's pride while in at the weights and uh, watch for six Desert Ace to put in a, a barnstorming finish. For me, I think <coughs> number 12, Toy of War, I agree with you, will be winning. To beat number 13, Winfield's Farm, to improve. Number six, Desert Ace, to run third. And if you're playing the quartets up there in Singapore, throw in number two, McAldico.